Welcome back to Illusion of Gaia, where I didn't actually forget to save the game before I actually quit out of it. <laughs> that did not happen at all, and I did not have to do everything up to that point again. Now, last time, we got a letter from King Edward himself telling us to bring the crystal ring to him, even though we have absolutely no idea what it is or if we even have it at this point. Oh well. But now, we have to make our pilgrimage to Edward's castle. Through the power of mode 7! Awesome. Oh, well, they were so eager to actually throw me into a dungeon. It was like, oh, wait, no, you have an invitation. No, oh, that's fine. Probably not speaking at all. And I want to wait for this knight to go over here behind this pillar and. Get those little red jewel. I'll be careful. No, we can't actually go to him yet because, believe it or not, the text actually does say he's eating breakfast. So, the only thing we can't do for now is go over here to the princess room. Yeah, I, I, I'm that shabby boy that you just insulted, like, not too long ago. Yeah, that shabby boy! Oh, right where she was about to tell me something really important, too. Eh, I probably will. Maybe not. Oh, this is my favorite part here. Watch this. <laughs> I don't know why. That was, in that was entertaining to me as a kid. I don't understand why. Maybe because I'm just a dumb little boy. I don't know why I had to pause to think about that. <laughs> anyway. Man, uh, get with the shabbiness, Jesus. I don't have it. Now it doesn't even matter which option you pick because it doesn't matter. Because we're just gonna be thrown into the prison anyway, no matter what option. I was being polite! I called you man just to be polite! So, now we're in the prison. Get me out of here. And trust me, this is not like the uh, the prison scene in Chrono Trigger. We can't just wait that out. No, what am I saying? We can't wait this out. This is what we're supposed to do. Just wait it out until something happens. Much like actual prison.
so how there one day it's been uh oh, there it is I'll take a while I never got that line right there even moss drinks water if nobody can tell me what that means comment below because I'm a stupid ignorant person And now we just gotta wait again until we quote unquote fall asleep. We we fall asleep. Yes, yeah, so the screen tints blue, then face to black. And now my flute is talking. <laughs> you deserted me. Yeah, this part, this part coming up does not make much sense. And I think my favorite line coming up through this terrible mess of a translated part here. Do I have to? Do I have to save the world? I don't wanna. Now, that whole thing about the crystal, that's actually a mistranslation, and I don't understand how, because it was originally supposed to be about a comet. Because, uh, this comet actually becomes important to the story, and this is where we're supposed to first hear about it, and uh, I, I don't understand. Oh, oink oink, oink oink, what's that sound? Prisoner of Riches. Don't I have the prisoner key? Just equip and then just press B. Made those sound and now I'm free. And that's pretty much it. That's pretty much all the use of this key, and it's going to sit in our inventory for the entire rest of the game. I can't get rid of it. In here, I first introduce you to the safe spot. And I introduce you to the great goddess Gaia. She will give us some advice every time we meet up with her in the dungeon. And always say yes to continue your journey unless you want to actually, you know, turn it off because then you're just locked in place. Anyway, now we're actually going to get to actual combat of this game, and this is where things kind of get a little bit interesting here. And you see we attack with our flute. If we double tap in the direction, we can actually do a jump attack and actually does more damage. 
And, I like most RPGs on Mike Soul Blades there where we gain experience points and level up. All we have to do is defeat all the enemies in the area and we get a increase in our stats. And it is actually a really interesting idea. But, some, but in a, as a result, you're basically just scrambling to try and find every enemy in the area. So it might be a little bit more time consuming, but eh, it worked to get the job done. Also, these chests are picking up. Unlike Soul Blazer, which also had. You jerk. That also had gems in it. Uh, the gems work a little bit differently here. Ow. Uh, if I die, I won't be set far back at the beginning of the dungeon, but to the entrance of the room I just died in. So you want to collect as much gems as possible. I think you get like a hundred, and you get that little checkpoint. So it's very useful to have around you. Also, I got like a little bit of strain increase, so this might not take as long. Also, I was not kidding when you when I said you will hear this song a lot for the majority of this game. I still haven't found out the name of that. Sorry. You kinda got in the way. Come on, you little tentacle monster. Got my way? Okay. Oh, okay. I thought you got out of my way. Then she just said something. Alright, bye. Let's go. If you freeze frame. And see what she was talking about, because I'm too late to actually figure that out myself. Also, there are going to be red jewels in this, in these dungeons, and all dungeons in general. However, they're easier to find because they're just in red chests, so you won't miss them as easily as you can in towns. But this is pretty much. Pretty much all there is to these dungeons. So, later on, there will be puzzles that we have to stop, but mostly this is just to be since it's the beginning dungeon. It's going to be as linear as possible. Also, your telekinesis can actually be used to block projectiles, but only like minor ones, not big ones. And I think this is where, yep, this is where the spears come in. I press it. Any fortune, but we just jump off this ledge and boom! Now it's open. And this is where the red jewel is, I believe. Yep. And a little bit of a salt basically tell us about the dark gem, like I just said. Gain one life and we'll go back very far. Like I said, get those gems. Get as much, many gems, much gems. Get as many gems as you could possibly get. And uh, for HP up. And now this flower wants me to play on the flute, so let's give it it. Go to the right hand wall. Almost it switch. I have switch on the brain probably. Now 
must be placed this way on the count of three. Don't make a mistake. And there we go. Also, you'll be hearing that sound as well. No. Also, nothing happens. Also, we can't reach that with our little flute. Oh, also, an interesting thing, uh, if you hit an enemy, it... Ow, why didn't that work that time? If you hit an enemy into another enemy, that, that will also count as damage. Now, here we have a really interesting mechanic of this game, and that is... The ability to switch characters. So now we're free then, the Dark Knight. Who honestly is a little bit more cooler. Ah, uh, the difference is, is that Freeding has a longer range and has more attack power, but he can't do the jump attack. Also, he can't use the flute. So keep that in mind. See, you still would take two hits with well, but Frida just took one. Uh, switch to Frida whenever you can, because he's a little bit stronger. And when, eventually, when we get to bosses, yes, there are bosses in this, do not get yourself. Uh, I will use Frida the most, just because he's able to hit hard. The whole rest of the dungeon is just this. There we go. See right there, I can't use the flute. And over here is another ritual. Yep. And I think this is actually the end of the end of the dungeon here. Come on, Skeletor. Oh, if I die here, that'd be sad. Nope, there you go. <laughs> oh, that would've been embarrassing. And I, I'd end the playthrough right there if I died there. And there we go. Yeah, when the enemies are destroyed, I return back to real form. There we go. That's a good pun. Oh, mystery. And there you go. And I'm gonna cut the part here at uh, first. Uh, you're there. You go. You're right here. Perfect. Uh, I'll see you guys next time in the next part. Whenever I upload this, due to my little terrible internet speed, whenever that is. And I'll see you guys next time.